In order to use the needed shortcode for this demonstration, please be sure that you have a WordPress.com account and that Jetpack is installed on your self-hosted website and connected to your WordPress.com account. Jetpack is the tool that provides a presentation shortcode we'll be working with. I'll insert a 2 minute 45 second video at this point to walk you through the process of setting up Jetpack as it differs slightly than installing other plugins. You can skip through it if you're already set up with Jetpack on your website. Jetpack extends the abilities of a hosted WordPress.com website, and many of its features are reliant on the WordPress.com servers. We have the ability to use Jetpack on our self-hosted WordPress websites using the Jetpack plugin, but we must connect our site to a WordPress.com account to open up its many features. Let's go through those steps quickly right now. First, point your web browser to wordpress.com slash start slash account slash user. This will allow you to create an account without having to also create a wordpress.com website. Fill in the registration form with an email address, username, and password. Click the Create My Account button. Click the Confirm Now button in your email to activate your WordPress.com account. Now, back inside your self-hosted WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins, and then Add New to install Jetpack. You should see Jetpack by WordPress.com right away in the Featured section. Otherwise, do a quick search for Jetpack by WordPress.com. Then, click on Install Now, and then Activate. Now, click the Connect to WordPress.com button. You should already be logged into your WordPress.com account from the previous steps. Authorize your website with your WordPress.com account by clicking the Approve button. For now, click on the Select Free button to move along with this tutorial. The Jetpack Settings menu should now be available for you within the WordPress dashboard of your self-hosted website to allow you to customize your Jetpack experience. Your Jetpack account is free, but you can always upgrade at any time for more advanced security and backup options. OK, with Jetpack enabled, let's turn on the extra shortcodes. From your WordPress dashboard, click Jetpack, then Settings. Click the writing link across the top. Turn on shortcode embeds. When creating your slideshow or presentation, it will consist of various slides for which you can configure each slide's transition, rotation, scale, fade, and background. Backgrounds could be images or colors. Use colors if you want to type the text for each slide. The default transition is down. I'll be leaving the default for this demonstration. Other values include right, up, left, and none. I'll not be using the rotation and scale properties in this example. Fading between slides is the default behavior. I won't be adjusting that for this presentation. In this example, I'll include five slides as background images. Let's begin. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Posts, then open the Post Editor for a new or existing post. Switch to Text View to prevent the Visual Editor from making changes to the code you type. Start with an opening and closing presentation shortcode. 
type an open square bracket, then the word presentation, then a closing square bracket, press enter twice, then open a square bracket, then type a slash, then the word presentation, then a closing square bracket. Now go back inside the opening of the presentation shortcode to set the size and transition duration for each slide. Just after the word presentation, put a space, then type width equals 600, then a space, then height equals 375, then a space, then duration equals 5. Save the post, we'll come back to it in a second. With five images ready to be used in the slideshow, let's now upload them to the WordPress Media Library. From your WordPress dashboard, click on Media, then Add New. If you right-click the Add New link, you can open it in a new tab in most browsers. Click the Select Files button. Locate the images on your computer, select them, and click Open. Using Control Click allows you to select multiple files to upload at once. Now we will need the URLs of the images. Click the Edit link next to the first image. It will open in a new tab. Copy the file URL to a text document. Close the tab. Do the same for the remaining images. Go back to your post. In between the presentation shortcode, create slide shortcodes for each image. Type an open square bracket, then the word slide, then a space, then bgimg equals open quotes, then paste the image URL, then close the quotes, then close the square bracket. Now close the slide shortcode by typing an opening square bracket, a slash, the word slide, then a closing square bracket. Press enter, then repeat for the other images. Save and view. 